Confessions of a Nail Tech. Oh, this is going to be a juicy episode today on the Biz Talk. We've got Tracy going to tell a few stories, some secrets, some darkness about what went down when she was a nail technician right now on the Biz Talk. Tracy, secrets, confessions of a nail technician. This is the stuff that actually happens. It happens. Right, like salon's a whole new world. Uh, wait, wait, but but really true though, correct? Like oh yeah, these are true. These are true. I mean, I'm trying to. Get, they're so. <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited for this. Oh, I, I don't mean, even know. <laughs> It's it's one of those where it's like you don't want to say too much because I don't want to offend people, but like, right there is some drama that goes on. Yeah, and this was like let let's let's uh, let's give a little context here. I mean, you were doing nails. This was like what late nineties, early two thousands. Oh yeah, like around there, right? Yeah. So that's kind of the time period. But a salon is a salon is a salon. It's what a what salon is a salon salon? Right, like yeah. the conversations that happen in a salon are real, and they go down. I don't think that changes, yep. right? We talk about things that change in a salon, techniques and, you know, services and all this stuff, but this maybe is why people go to the salon cuz you you it's kind of like we joke around about it. It's sort of therapy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. For the person talking. <laughs> For the person talking, it is therapy in and they sometimes talk too much. Yeah, they talk too much. So, uh, okay, let's. I, I want to get a few in here. Um, confessions of a nail tech. Dun, dun. Tracy Ryerson, uh, uh, walk me through. You were giving me a little bit before oh, we started Lord. this, but you you were mentioning there was a situation that went down. Of course, no names will be mentioned. Um, <laughs> names have been changed names have to been protect changed. the guilty. <laughs> to protect the guilty, exactly. <laughs> Well, I mean, the, so I think the one that um, the, it's it's so awkward because people talk a lot about sex. Okay, right, right. They and but it's not just about sex. It's about they start talking about different affairs and things like that that, that they're going through, or that yes, they're doing that they're doing. <laughs> yes. Okay. And so we had one situation where <clears throat> there was two women. Now, mind you, at this time it was my own salon, so. We're talking 500 square feet. Okay, so and it's, part of that's a pedicure room. So it's tiny. It's yeah, yeah. And you would have them show up at the same time. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, so two women were well, well, well. One let, wife, one mistress. Which they tend to show up about the same time, and the one wife did not know that the other girl was having an affair with, with her, her husband. husband. And and so, how did oh, you? God. Very awkward. Oh my God. Okay, but wait a second. So, how did you initially find out? Like, did well because I did the wife. Okay. And and, and then and then she would leave, <clears throat> or they'd be in the same I had time. No I, you know, I would. I'm one of those nail techs. Like I've told you guys before, I want them. On, I like be on your phone, do your thing. I just want to work. I just. Mm -hmm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. uh -huh, oh uh -huh, no, uh -huh, mm, no. Uh -huh. And then every once in a while you realize they asked you a question. You're like, I have no idea what they just asked. <laughs> like, I'm in my own little world. So I'm always in my own little world. And, um, the, you know, she leaves and, you know. Who, who the, leaves? The, 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 the wife. wife okay. And then everybody, you know, and then I, the two girls across from me are talking about it. And I'm like, what are you guys talking about? I'm like, well, my, my client is sleeping with her husband. I'm like, what? Like, I didn't want to know that. I don't want to know that. Oh my god! I, I just it makes it. Uh, I don't and she, know. And but what's insane is the mistress, the 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 other, yes. right? The other woman is literally telling them, yeah, I'm, like like and I'm sleeping with. We her live husband. in a small town. Right. Like this is not obviously they go to the same salon. Right. Right. Like, That's insane. Yeah. And. So did it ever get to a point where like the wife found out or things blew you know up? Or? I don't remember. I don't remember that part. I just remember not wishing they had not told me. Like, and, I don't want to know that. And so when she comes in, the wife, like, let's say the next time she walks in the door and she comes in. Just my head down. You're, oh, my God. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, did you ever have the 
temptation to like slide a note across the table or like leave something on her car and be like, yo, listen. Oh, oh yes. I have that story. Not her. Somebody else. I did tell somebody what, what I did tell someone, but that was, Oh, that was, that was difficult. What, what, okay, wait, wait, start from the beginning. I totally, <laughs> wow, I just remembered actually even having that, that was more even like involved because my relative, ex-relative that okay. worked there, okay. friend, her friend, her friend, husband was sleeping with someone else and and that person didn't go to our salon, but she, the friend did. And I knew her kind of personally, and I felt bad okay. knowing that. That her husband was sleeping yeah, with somebody so else. Yeah, so I remember her coming in. How did you find that out? How did you know that from her From the ex-relative. Oh, okay. So, so, so like, but she wasn't going to tell her friend. She wasn't going to tell her friend. And, and she knew that her husband, that her friend's husband yeah. was sleeping with somebody. Yeah, so, so did what you slid a note or you no, just like I asked, sat her down? I asked her to come outside and I told her. Were you doing her nails? I did not do her nails. No. Oh, okay. She was just there to get her nails done. Oh, she was there to get her nails mm -hmm. done. And, and I told her. And you did. Yeah. And it did not go well for me. What, what, why didn't it go it, well? Because people get mad at first. Like, I think I made a mental note of like, I don't know, unless it was a personal friend of mine, I don't know that I would ever, that sounds terrible, yeah. but it was, it was, it, and then they you ended were, up in divorce. To, you were and they to do ended, the right thing. Yeah, I was trying to do the right thing. Yeah. And um, it, you know, it, it, it ended up nasty and I felt bad for her. And I'm sure probably in the beginning she was, or in the end, maybe she was thankful, but it was, she was just mad at me. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's crazy about that, Trace, is I, uh, a, a very good friend of mine, um, a long time ago, his longtime girlfriend hit on me. Oh. Yeah. She hit on me. We were, we were like, she was, um, I would volunteered to do some like interview thing, uh, for her work and it was just her and I in the room and she straight hit on like, me. Like no question. No, 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 no. It was like, like it was like ready to go. And I, 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 I walked out. I was like, I gotta go. And I walked out and I told my buddy mm, and how that end did not go well. See? So you like, you understand. I totally yeah. understand. I was like, dude, are you not listening <clears throat> to what I'm telling you? And he was like, no, no, no. And I, it happened. Uh, I found some similar to that. I found out, I know we're going off topic here, yeah. but, I, <laughs> but it's just but interesting. It's true. I, another friend of mine, uh, I found out that his girlfriend was cheating on him and, uh, I told him and he exploded on me, got pissed and was like, you don't know what you're talking about. I was like, okay. I was like, dude, I, this is not good. No. So you're right. Yeah. Yeah. And that sounds awful to say that, but it doesn't, you were like, you know what? They need to find out on their own. They'll fit, you know, I, I, if it was a personal friend, I, I would tell him. Yeah, me too. For I just, sure. I'm like, I'm never getting not involved in that drama, but stuff like that in the salon. You hear so much. And that, um, I think the most awkward <laughs> for me. Those weren't the most awkward. No. <laughs> oh my God. I think it w I was a newer tech. It, was, uh, it wasn't in my salon. It was in the salon I started out. And I had this one lady that would come in with her. She was in her 30s. Okay. She would come in with her 18-year-old boyfriend. At least she said he was 18. He looked awfully young. But okay. whatever. Done, whatever. Whatever. But then they would talk about their threesomes. What? Yeah, and it's just like I, <laughs> I got rid of her. I couldn't. I don't want to talk about that like stuff. Every time she came in. Yeah, she, but well, she was proud of it. And she would come in with her boyfriend. He and they would, would show up all the time. And they would just—that's the conversation they wanted they, to have. They want to have with you. I, maybe they wanted me to join. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't. I no. Oh my! I literally. Because I remember she got a, uh, she, this is back in the day, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah. fiberglass. Yeah, yeah. So I called her up and I said, um, <clears throat> I'm allergic to fiberglass and glue. I can't do your nails anymore. Oh my gosh. I made up an allergy to yeah, get out you, of it. Because I just. You couldn't do it. Yeah, because usually you can stir people like, mm, I'm not really comfortable yeah. in talking about, you know. Yeah. Nah, not them. No. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. They were going to have this conversation. Yeah, it was going to be the conversation. They were going to convince you, Tracy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what yeah. was going on. Yeah. I, I honestly think. I, I mean, yeah, no, no, no. <laughs>
That's insane. So there's always like, the, it's just, and you, yeah. you uh, one of the girls in our salon, she had a customer who also would go on about her sweener life. Sure, sure. On and on and on until the point that she had felt like she told her too much. Because people sometimes get very comfortable with us, right? Mm -hmm. And they go on, and then they're, it's awkward afterwards. So she literally called that nail tech up and said, I can't come back to you. I've told you too much. Oh, my gosh. That it was a small town. Yeah, you probably yeah. did tell too much. Yeah. And, and here's the thing, right? Whatever someone wants to do, like, I could give i don't like i believe in everybody has preference and they want to do whatever honestly honestly i really believe that it's like you do whatever but um like i don't i don't share my intimate moments or whatever i just don't share that but that's my my thing but mm -hmm. in a salon it happens it, it gets very you get really comfortable, right? Comfortable, I guess. I don't know. I've never gotten that comfortable in a salon. I, I barely want to talk. I, I'm just, you know, I, sometimes I feel bad when I'm getting my hair done. Like I should say something. <laughs> but you like to just chill and I get like your hair chill. done. Have you ever had, have you ever seen a situation in your salon with one of the techs where they, they like to talk and maybe they've said too much to a client or they're oversharing about some weird situation they've got into? Or is it really always, client talking to nail tech the majority of the time i think it can go both ways i i think the one thing that i could think about is i had a girl that used to like to talk about her partying and beating up and getting in fights and all that and it's like you you are oversharing you should not be sharing that with your clients for first of all it's the just tech a, the tech yeah she she just was really <laughs> wow she liked to brawl she liked to brawl She's, and i'm like you just can't talk about that stuff even if your clients enjoy it we're not <laughs> Right, because it's 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 not like a suite where you're just by yourself. Very small yeah. area. Then I had another situation where <laughs> I had the sweetest nail tech. We were actually uh, we'd known each other for a long time. She worked in the salon, and then there was another person I've known for a long time. We their kids were dating. Okay. Right. So um, their their kids were dating and. Uh, but they didn't want their daughter, the nail tech didn't want their daughter seeing them. Not that they didn't want her to see him, but he was coming over when they weren't there. They were younger. Okay. They, he, you know, she would go leave. He'd be like, you can't go. And she would leave anyway. And the, the, the friend who I did her nails yeah. was um, facilitating she was encouraging and then it ended up where the daughter moved out of their house and moved in with her oh my god and yeah so it got really ugly and awkward and i called the the girl that i did who was also a friend that i don't for, i mean i knew both of their kids sure. since they were like eight yeah um and told her you can't come in oh my gosh and she blew up on me like what do you mean and i'm like well first of all i don't agree with what you're doing yeah and second of all I, she works in salon and she is not comfortable with you being there. Right. So you're not coming. It can't, it can't happen. Yeah. Yeah. That's, and that's, uh, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to do? Um, the nail. So <laughs> this obviously is not a, a salon situation, but in, in the nail business yeah. situation that we have, I mean, we've had the stories that we have, are totally insane, almost not believable, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Things that happen. But there was one in particular where I hired this, uh, this was like 20 years, it was a while ago. It's like when, when I first started, maybe 15, 16 years ago. It was a while ago. But we were working with this uh, marketing firm and um, they uh, they did good work. And we, uh, we did a photo shoot, okay? And um, things seemed to be going well. Um, <clears throat> And we would go to trade shows and I would see the, 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 the owner of the marketing firm that we were using. Okay. He would, he'd be at the trade shows and I'd be uh, like, <clears throat> at your, your trade. At yeah. Just like regular nail we're shows. We're in Vegas okay. or Florida or wherever. He'd come by the booth and he'd be like, oh, hey. And I'd be like, oh, hey man, what, what's, what's going on? He's like, oh no, you're just here. Just, you know, the nail and just checking it out. I was like, okay. It's kind of weird, you know? And I would see him talking to like one of our um, like she she wasn't an employee but she was a, a, a like an educator. educator. It's kind of like hmm, interesting, but didn't really think I was a little suspicious, but didn't think much of it. 
the day that I had the conversation with you about distribution, where you were like, I can't work with my partner anymore, Habib. You can either give her the distribution or give it to me, but we are splitting up. Literally after that conversation with you, I remember because I was in the parking lot at our old facility in Anaheim, hung up the phone with you. I get a phone call from him and I was like, oh, hey man, what's going on? How are you doing? And he's like, uh, I just want to let you know, I can't, I can't, I can't do work for you anymore. And I was like, why? He said, because so-and-so completely broke my heart. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. What <laughs> are you talking about, bro? And he's like, you know, we've been seeing each other for like six months. And ever since that photo shoot where she did the nails and I took the pictures, something happened. And, uh, we, we, and I'm like, dude, dude, <laughs> You had no clue. I had no idea. And what I did know was that she was kind of dating somebody else. There was all this drama. It was like, I'm like, oh my God, why, Lord, why? I just want to get stuff. I just want pictures and I want marketing material. And there's got, and this guy was like, I can't. I said, fine, dude. I said, you know what? Forget it. I don't want to work with you anyway because you're, this is unprofessional. So thank you for this. I'm Hold done. It. So he couldn't separate the two? He could not separate it. He could not separate it. That has it. nothing to do with us. I know. It could not separate it. Could not oh, get. Funny. And then I saw him at a trade show in Vegas. Uh, um, this was like a few months later and he shows up at the booth, <clears throat> you know, and it's like super like weird, creepy. I'm like, hey, man, what are you, what are you doing? He's like, I'm just here. I'm like, uh, you know, because this time we didn't work together. And this educator came up to me and she was like kind of nervous. She was like, hey, he's he, he like came here and like he's following me. And I was like, OK, you know, I said, don't worry about it. Like, you'll be good. We'll make sure we keep an eye out. But then it, like all the stories got mixed up and somebody was saying this and somebody was saying that. And it was just like in the end, I was like, I'm done. I'm don't talk to me about this anymore. I'm out, yeah. you know, but so many like insane stories like that oh well if we go into beauty shows we can we could talk for Ooh. years like Ooh. so many things that i wish i've never seen in my life <laughs> so many things yes like, don't, i don't want to know yeah no the uh you know it's always interesting like even for like like the barber shop for guys right they go like that that you go to the barber you chill, you you chat. Yeah. You have this conversation with the barber. You, what's going on? Da, 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 da. And then you get to know, you build a relationship and there's that thing. You know what I mean? Like there's something with going in a salon and having conversation with your, your whatever it's your barber or your hairstylist or your nail tech where, I mean, I it makes sense, right? It's like if you're going to sit there and be intimate with somebody because you're touching their their hair, their right. head, or their hands for an hour or 30 minutes, whatever it is, you're not going to just sit there and just be like, but there's other things to talk about. I know, but it's... <laughs> but it's there's other things. But gossip, <laughs> whether whether we want to admit it or not, is, 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 juicy. is juicy. And and here's the thing, like I actually, I read this book, okay, um, it was on like the history of, uh, like homo sapiens, right? It's called oh. sapiens. And the one quality that differentiates human beings from every other species is storytelling and gossiping. It is what that it's the, sense. it's the root of where everything comes from. Yeah. You know what I mean? The ability to tell stories and, to gossip and um it really is what differentiates us from like um other animals you know and they're just stories right and and they're fun and it's what it creates community it creates like creates drama and drama problems tension also. <laughs> but what better place i guess than in a salon where you're sitting with your nail professional and you just want to take a load off and you're just like Maybe you had a, yeah, <laughs> you know, and, and the thing is, is like, if your life's gotten complicated because maybe, maybe you're, you're, you're in a situation that's a little sticky, right? Like, uh, whether I don't even want to say it, but like, it even feels weird to say, you know, if you're, if you're cheating on somebody or you're, you're listening to somebody telling you about them cheating on it, that is 
like it's juicy yeah. and it's why we watch it on television and you know what I'm saying? But I will say it's just like stock market. You don't invest anything you're not willing to lose. Right. Don't say anything you're not willing for other people to know. Yeah. Because beauty industry people talk. <laughs> we talk. <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. Is there, um, have there been outside of those, like, have you had that situation where, where, where a customer has like stopped coming to you specifically because they're like, oh, Jesus, I told Tracy too much or not that I know of okay not that I okay. know of um and I tr I really in the beginning I was a little more awkward about those conversations but you know towards you know uh once I got a few years under my belt I was more of a like I don't I don't want to hear it I don't want to talk about it would you actually say that to your, to your yeah, client? yeah well usually you can steer it yeah in a way and they get the hint, and they get the hint. yeah you know, there's some people like the a couple <laughs> that just don't get the hints or that get it. yeah um so uh yeah i think you you get good at steering it but there's there's just going to be stuff that you find out about because people just blurt it out what about what about situations where like they're in that tough uh situation and they're asking for advice. Do they ever say like, "Hey, look, can I ask you a question, Trace?" Like, I'm in the, I'm in a bind, and like, were they ever? I would imagine that they, they do. Yeah, they, they ask for a lot of opinions on things and what you should do. You know, usually you're typically talking about husband fighting or you know things like that. Usually, it's, it's, it's. Sure, that stuff most is most of it. Yeah, most of it's normal. But yeah, there's those that want advice on relationships you know that you don't want to give advice on and i yeah. just would i don't have any experience to give you information from <laughs> <laughs> i uh i always imagine like if my dad went to the salon when my mom started this business right let's say like my dad was a mechanic and he he fit you know he he's not a mechanic he turned wrenches and um worked his ass off and you know when my mom started this business she uh, uh, refied the house with you know without he had his it knowledge. without his knowledge and and he didn't find out until years later. I'm, I'm imagining my dad in the salon like getting his greasy ass hands done. It's like <laughs> oh, my wife, woman. And you, you know what he would do though? He would drive home on the way to work and he would stop by his brother's house and um, for a couple hours and he would just that was his like salon. He would just. Unleash. Can't believe, yeah, unleash and talk about like my mom and she did this and she did this and she did this and like, you know, we're in debt and like, I can't believe, but I, I always had this visual of like, <laughs> cause it's so not him to like be in a salon, right? Cause he's a, he's a freaking mechanic, but his hands were all gnarly and he's getting him like a manicure done <laughs> and talking about, um, like just those kids the, of mine. Oh my God. Habib is amazing. But that Greg. <laughs> can't stand him his face i don't think he's mine <laughs> his breath smells <laughs> <laughs> i know it's like it's it's insane but but um i'm so curious if you guys have oh i'm sure there's some stories any stories <laughs> that you know no names please but just situations that you can talk generally in the comments below we would love to hear about them uh, confessions of a nail technician this stuff is real and also any other ideas for if you want to you know hear about future episodes let us know in the comments below tracy thank you so much thank you thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time on the biz talk <laughs> <laughs>